Welcome back guys, in this video I will be using DLSS Nablus Trunk Build to enable FSR 3.1.1 frame generation in GTA Trilogy Definitive Edition. Now this game does not support either FSR or DLSS frame generation. So I will be actually using the latest version of OptiScaler mod to enable FSR frame generation. This is its version 0.7 Preview 24 build. The trunk build is very experimental. Its version will change over the course of time. It includes many new features that might be unstable as they are currently under active development such as the latest version of OptiScaler mod. So you should only use this build if you are interested in any of its new features otherwise just stick to the normal version of DLSS enabler. I will be running the Epic Games version of GTA Trilogy on my Windows PC that has a Ryzen 5700X 3D processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU. Using OptiScaler mod, we will be able to select DLSS as the upscaler and use it in conjunction with FSR frame generation. Now if you install the standalone version of OptiScaler mod in this game, the game will not work at all, it will crash at startup. This is due to Epic Games overlay, so you need to manually disable the overlay in order to get the game working with the mod. But if you install DLSS enabler, you won't be required to manually disable Epic's overlay. DLSS enabler will automatically disable the overlay for you. This is its advantage over standalone version of OptiScaler mod. Basically DLSS enabler has a better compatibility with games. All three GTA games support a very old version of DLSS upscaler. So I'll be updating the upscaler as well. First just download the trunk build. Scroll down to the end expand asset section. Click on the exe link. Just go to Tech Power Up's website and download the latest version of DLSS Upscaler. I'll give the link to this website in the description. This is the latest version. Click on download here. Now just click on any of the servers. Download will start. By default, all three GTA games run in DirectX 11 mode, but you need to run them in DirectX 12 mode in order to get the mod working. This is for Epic Games version of the mod. Just click on your profile icon here. Click on settings. Scroll down to the end, look for the installed GTA games, there they are. First we have GTA 3, expand it. Check this setting, additional command line arguments and add this line of text, dash DX12. If you own the Steam version of the game, just select the game in your library, for example like this. Now click on the settings cog here. Click on properties. Under launch options, add this line. This will make the game run in DirectX 12 mode. Do this for GTA San Andreas and Vice City as well. Now all three games will run in DirectX 12 mode. First I'll install DLSS enabler in GTA San Andreas. Show you the games directory where you need to install DLSS enabler. Click on the three dots below the games box art. Click on manage. Click on this folder icon. This is the games directory, open game phase folder, open binaries folder, open win64 folder. This is the final directory you can see, I have already installed DLSS enabler, I will just uninstall it first. Leftover files, copy the directory. Launch DLSS enabler setup file that we downloaded earlier. There it is. I accept. Next. Next. Paste the games directory here. Next. Check the first option install as a version.dll file. If your PC has an Intel or an AMD GPU, check this setting. Enable support for AMD and Intel GPUs. As my PC has an RTX GPU, I won't be enabling this setting. Enable this setting, install XCS as an FSR replacement for DLSS subscaler. Select version 0.7. That's it. Next, install. DLSS enabler has been installed. Uncheck this setting, finish. The process is that simple. Now, if you go back to the games directory with the games exe file is present, you'll see DLSS enablers file. Now, I'll update DLSS subscaler. Just extract its DLL file. Copy, open the games install directory, open engine folder, open plugins folder, open runtime folder, open nvidia folder, 
ओपन डीएलएसएस फोल्डर ओपन बाइनरीज फोल्डर ओ माय गॉड ओपन थर्ड पार्टी फोल्डर ओपन विन सिक्सटी फोर फोल्डर दे एस द डीएलएसएस फाइल जस्ट ओवर राइट इट रिप्लेस नाउ मेक शो हार्डवेयर एक्सलेटेड जीपीयू शेडलिंग सेटिंग इज इनेबल राइट क्लिक एनी वे इन द डेस्कटॉप एरिया देन क्लिक ऑन डिस्प्ले सेटिंग्स क्लिक ऑन ग्राफिक्स क्लिक ऑन चेंज डिफॉल्ट ग्राफिक्स सेटिंग्स इनेबल हार्डवेयर एक्सलेटेड जी पी शेडलिंग सेटिंग फॉर्म है इफ यू मॉनिटर सपोर्ट वी आर आ इनेबल इट एज वेल नाउ आई इनेबल वी सिंग फॉर्म एंड मीडिया कंट्रोल पैनल आई एल ऑल्सो इनेबल लो लेटेंसी मोड क्लिक ऑन मैनेज सी डी सेटिंग्स क्लिक ऑन प्रोग्राम सेटिंग्स फ्रॉम दिस टॉप टॉन बा सिलेक्ट द जी टी ए गेम्स फर्स्ट वी हैव जी टी ए थ्री स्क्रॉल डाउन टू द एंड इनेबल बी सिंग लुक फॉर लो लेटेंसी मोड देर इट इज इनेबल इट दिस विल हेल्प इन रिड्यूसिंग द लेटेंसी डू द सेम थिंग फॉर अदर टू जी टी ए गेम्स देर सैन एंड्रियाज वाई सिटी देर इट इज Now click on Setup G-Sync. My monitor supports G-Sync Premium. G-Sync compatible. Enable all of these settings. Enable G-Sync. G-Sync compatible. Enable for full screen mode. Enable settings for the selected display model. We're ready to run the game. Make sure no third-party overlay like RTSS or Afterburner is running in the background. I'll be using Windows Toolbar to show you the performance metrics. Press Windows plus G keys together. Epic Games version of GTA Trilogy will open up Rockstar Launcher. See, in game settings, I'm using the high preset, everything maxed out, resolution full HD. My monitor supports up to 240 Hz refresh rate. We sync off high to ultra settings. Need to enable DLSS upscaler in order to use OptiScaler mod. I'm using the upscaler's quality preset. Motion blur off, bloom disabled as well. That's it. Now I'll open OptiScaler Mod menu. Just press the Insert keyboard key. There it is. From this drop-down bar, you can select the upscaler. FSR and XSS are also supported, and they work on any GPU. RTX GPU owners should select DLSS. You can see its version here, three point seven point two zero, the latest version. First, I'll run the game without frame generation. There, CJ. Our brother Sweet needs a help. Okay, here FPS is within a range of 130 to 140. Good performance even without frame generation. During the night time, this game becomes very demanding. It's due to the lighting effect. Light from street lamps and cars can kill the performance. Good for testing the game though. 90% GPU load. You can see Sweet's health bar in the top right corner. I need to hurry up. Okay, I'll enable frame generation now. On. Save, close. Yeah, I can observe the added amount of smoothness, but games hard elements are flickering as well. You can see the mini map flickering. So I'll enable hard fix setting now. Hey, FG hard fix setting enable. Limit value set to one. Extended setting disable. Save, close. There you go. Hard has been fixed. Now I'll be driving a vehicle at high speeds. FSR frame generation generally produces some ghosting around fast-moving vehicles. We'll see. Pretty sure you have seen this effect in Cyberpunk. I'll take a shortcut. Image quality is looking very sharp. DLSS upscaler for you. Need to observe any ghosting around the character model. Physics in this game is still broken. <laughs> oh my god, my car went to that street pole. See? What a shame. We are getting close to 190 FPS. Game is running so smoothly. This is insane. Gang members are nearby. I just ran over them. <laughs> oh my god. to have them survive but not for long <laughs> the policeman killed him <laughs> the cop is not helping me 
Oh my god, I got killed. Now I'll be testing the next game. DLSS Nableless installation process is the same for all three GTA games. Now I'll install it in Vice City. Open the games install directory. Open game phase folder. Open binaries folder. Open Win64 folder. Copy the directory from here. Launch trunk build setup file. Accept next. Paste the directory here. Next. First option checked. OptiScale option checked. Version 0 0.7. Install. Uncheck this setting. Finish. Make sure to update this game's DLSS upscaler version as well. Open the game's install directory. Open engine folder. Plugins folder. Runtime folder. Nvidia folder. DLSS. Pioneries. Third party. Win64. There's the DLL file. Override. We're ready to run the game. Again, I'm using the high preset. Full HD resolution. Enable DLSS upscaler from here. Using its quality preset. Motion blur off. Lens flare disabled as well. Bloom disabled. Don't like it. That's it. Open OptiScaler. Insert key. Frame generation disabled for the time being using the latest version of DLSS. Game is running in DirectX 12 mode. There's Tommy. It's the night time. I'm creating a traffic here. Headlights from vehicles will increase the GPU load. FPS is around 105. Image quality is looking sharp all thanks to DLSS. Now I'll enable frame generation. On. Yeah, I can observe the added amount of smoothness. FPS increased to around 160. Games hard elements are flickering. Let me just open the debug view. In the bottom middle image, there shouldn't be any games hard elements. Otherwise, the hard elements will flicker when we enable frame generation. Now I'll enable hard fix setting. On. Limit value set to 1. Extended setting disable. Save. Close. Yeah. As you can see, in the bottom middle image, HUD elements are not displayed. This means the HUD elements won't flicker when we enable frame generation. Disable debug view. There you go. HUD elements are not flickering. I'm looking for some ghosting effect around the character model. Nothing significant. Just drive this scooter. Head to my destination. Oh my god, I gained a wanted level. Destination is nearby. Very smooth performance. 190 to 200 FPS. Okay, I reached my destination. Just run over these guys. Need to get a ride. Even the subtitles are not flickering, see? I'll just shoot these barrels. We need to destroy these trucks. Oh my god, so much destruction. A <laughs> mission pass. Last but not least, we have GTA 3. Open the game's install directory. Manage. Open game phase folder. Open binaries folder. Open Win64 folder. Copy the game's install directory. Run the setup of trunk build. I accept. Next. Next. Paste the directory. Next, first option checked, install as a version.dll file, uncheck enable support for AMD and Intel GPUs if your PC has an RTX GPU, check this setting, install XCSS and FSR replacement, OptiScaler version 0.7, next install, that's it, uncheck this setting, finish, update the game's DLSS upscaler, 
go to this directory here you will find the older version of DLSS subscaler overwrite it we are ready to run the game in game settings again I am using the high preset full HD resolution vsync off DLSS subscaler enabled using its quality preset motion blur and bloom disabled that's it open optiscaler upscaler selected DLSS frame generation disabled for the time being I'll keep the gameplay short it runs just like GTA Vice City yeah we are getting around 100 FPS it's the night time so many vehicles around us headlights can kill the performance now I'll enable frame generation on close smoothing effect has been applied 160 fps games hard elements are flickering open the debug view you can see games hard elements in the bottom middle image check this setting frame generation hard fix limit value set to 1 extended setting disable save close the hard elements are gone now from the bottom middle image this means hard elements won't flicker with frame generation on close the debug view let's just play the game there you go everything has been fixed steal a vehicle this particular area is very demanding it's due to the lighting effect so many vehicles nearby headlights are causing the performance to tank still the fps is above 100 so good to see OptiScaler frame generation working very nicely in this game and DLSS enabler making the entire setup process very simple automated process that's it with the video guys i hope you find it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day